used a little more cowbell. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com, and in the last Mississippi State Dynasty video, we took on LSU. We essentially had no issues in the second half. The first half, it was really close, but we was able to take advantage in the end. LSU has a really rough defense, and we took advantage of that, ended up winning by 32 points. But today is arguably the biggest game of the season. Number two, Mississippi State, taking on number four, Florida. Home game. As you can see here, Florida's offense is spot on. Their passing attack is about as good as it gets. But their defense is not very good. Like, they're giving up everything. That's actually surprising. I've never seen a Florida defense be that bad. So maybe we could do some serious damage to that. They're really good on the turnover differential, but we're not bad either. But they got A overall talent. This is probably the most talented team we'll face all season. Should be a lot of fun. Now, I mentioned it's a home game. And we may have a couple guys ready to take a visit or two. We'll see. Just kind of looking here. Defensive end, James Small, he's finally ready to take a visit. I want him to come today. It'll be two more weeks before our next home game. And I like to get these visits out of the way. So we're going to go with Florida. And he's excited to be able to play football close to home. So we're going to go with the location pitch. Okay, now corner, Clint Thomas. He wants to go to Florida as bad as anywhere. And, but we got a positive pitch. That's why I'm sticking with it. But it looks like he's going to Florida regardless. I don't know if we, I mean, this kid, we don't have a clue what he likes. I'm hoping we get this kid more than anywhere else, Mark Williams. Yeah, I think we can, or anybody else. We'll go back to Thomas. I don't know what else to do here. I think we're going to squeeze in the top three. If, if that's all that matters. If we can get in the top three and somehow get a visit before he commits to Florida, then I think we have a chance because we have a positive pitch. So I'm good with all that there. I took the points off of Marcus Hampton last week because I wanted to put points elsewhere. And we're going to leave it as such. He seems destined to go to Oklahoma anyways. And besides, we don't know anything about the kid. That was the other reason why. I took the points off of him. Now, we got Brad Howard. He is ready to visit. You better believe it. He's going to visit today. We can look here. He doesn't mind going to college away from home, so it's not location. He seems pretty indifferent to our style of play, so that's coaching style. And it doesn't care if you're red shirts next year. So, playing time, location, and style of play. We're going to go ahead and do – let's do coach prestige. Coach Prestige, I'm going to take a chance on that. Our Coach Prestige is much higher than the Program Prestige. Our Program Prestige is like three-star. And our Coach of Prestige, if I'm not mistaken, we can look here. It's been forever since I've been on this page. Our Coach Prestige is only three. Now, this is interesting. Now, for some reason, this is still part of our UNLV Dynasty file. And I was able to boost up... Were they a one-star at one point or a two? I was there for two seasons. Maybe that's correct. Three stars. I just For some reason, I thought it would be higher. Because this is like my fifth season in the in the dynasty. And I got UNLV up to a four. I quit them to go to Mississippi State. That brought me down to a three. And we had a great year last year. So I'm surprised I'm not at least at a four. That makes no sense. Okay, that kind of changes my mind a little bit. So let's go back to recruiting. And we'll go back to Brad Howard. And we're going to do the program prestige. That's the most common pitch that recruits like. And he's not mentioning that anywhere right there. So we'll just go ahead with the program prestige. Now we've got strong safety, Danny Charles. Looks like we're going to squeeze into the top three, hopefully. Not much we could do about there with him. Now Mark Williams, hopefully we can get this kid. He's ready to visit. We'll have him visit today. And he likes our location. So we're going to go with the location pitch. And last but not least, here's another strong safety. Not ready to do much decision making yet, but we're number two. We'll definitely make his top three, it looks like. So we're in good shape there. So we don't have to move around any of the percentage points, but we do have three guys visiting today. James Small, Brad Howard, and Mark Williams. Okay, let's go to Sports Illustrated. As you can see, uh, Nicholas 
has made the cover of this week's Sports Illustrated. Pretty cool. Bowl rankings. There's Nicholas again. USC, Florida State, Mississippi State, and Florida, Oklahoma. As long as we keep winning, I'm not worried about any of this. We still got a long, I mean, half the season to go. So I'm not too worried about any of that. Just keep winning. Okay, Heisman watch. Wesley Brown is moving on up. Could he be the first true freshman to ever win this thing besides... Wait, I, I, I have a lot of... Let me put it this way. I think the Heisman's a bit bogus nowadays. As, forgive me, I'm a bit biased. As a Tennessee fan, I feel like we've got screwed over a couple Heisman trophies. So I tend to not care as much about who's won it the last 5 to 10, 15 years. I don't remember if a true freshman's ever won. I think a red shirt freshman. Was it... Uh, well, I know Tim Tebow was a true sophomore. But either way, it'd be really cool to see a true freshman win the whole thing, and it's quite possible if he keeps uh, putting up the yards and, and the point in the uh, touchdowns. Or he has uh, seven, 18 total touchdowns. Pretty cool. And we're going up against Brian Cruz. This kid right here is just putting on a show, him and his little teammate here, Nyan Botang. Awesome name. We'll see if we can shut that down today. Players of the week, I don't really care. Let's go to the conference standings. We're starting to get up into the conference schedule a little bit. We're the lone undefeated team in our division. Ole Miss is 3-1, though. They're having a pretty decent season for them, I guess. Arkansas is 2-1. Now LSU is just going down the pond all of a sudden. They started the season, what, 4-0, and I think they've lost three in a row. That's pretty rough. You go to the east. Florida, Georgia, Tennessee battle, more or less. Tennessee already lost to Florida. Georgia and Florida are going to play each other very soon, probably the next week if I had to guess. Either way, still a long way to go, way too many games to play before all that is settled. So without further ado, let's take on the Gators. Now, I know exactly what they run. They're a spread option, spread offense type of team. They'll probably pass a whole lot more than normal. They usually pass a lot more than normal. I think they're like a 50-50 type of run-pass ratio. Either way, I've played the, the Gators so many times over the years, it's not even funny. They're a 4-3 team. I just know what to expect. The key is stopping it all. All right, we are healthy. They got one center out due to disciplinary issues. 95 overall. That should help us some. Big game. Super excited. Hopefully we can get the job done. I don't know who their lone loss was. That could have been Georgia. I could have went back and looked. I'd like to have good weather, but it looks like we're not going to get that. Hi yeah, we're going to get good weather. Good deal. We've had like two or three straight rain games. This is the biggest game in this stadium in many, many years. Perfect, perfect weather. The Florida Gators and the Mississippi State Bulldogs. These SEC teams are about halfway through their seasons, and they are ready to do battle. And here come the Bulldogs. I love that color palette just in terms of the white pants and white helmet. There we go. Finally, somebody other than Eric Bradley gets a little love on the preview. Ah, oh, they're picking us to win. We want the ball second half. All right, let's check how loaded this roster is. All right, 97 overall, Brian Cruz. He cannot run. He's a true junior. That is really impressive to have a true junior at 97 overall. Imagine if he comes back next year. But he's your prototypical pocket passer through and through. He looks a lot like a Peyton Manning, 6'5", 217. I don't even think Peyton was even that heavy back in Tennessee. But anyway, he can't run. We're going to go after that cat if possible. Halfback, Drew Parker, 98 speed. His backup is 92 speed, but the, neither one is an impact guy. Fullback, they're not going to use a whole lot of that. True freshman, really big guy. 
Nine Boateng, arguably the best wide receiver in the SEC, if not the country. 98 overall, 91 speed. And then you got the Z receiver, Udlondon, Udlon, Udlane, Cribs. That's an awesome name that they would even have that in there. As a created, you know, when they generate these names for these uh, recruits and stuff. He's a true junior. That means he's a created player. 99 speed. That's incredible. First team, all SEC, X and Z receiver. That's impressive. The slot receiver, David Nelson, 6'5", 192. Look at how, look at this. 98, 95, 89, 88, 88, 85. Wow. Okay, tied in. 96 overall, 76 speed. Irvin George. I'm sure he can catch, and he can. His backup is just as good. Tommy Hayden, 78 speed, can catch as well. 92 overall. That's as good as a skill group as I've seen at a te- on a team. Uh, it's, it's been a while. I mean, everybody they have is in the 90s, more or less. Outside of their halfbacks, they got somebody in the 90s. At quarterback, at receiver, at tight end. Now here you look at their offensive line. 93 and 91 at the left tackle. 82 and 84. 95 at center. 89 at right guard. And 96 at right tackle. So their tackles are incredible. They've got a bit of a weakness on the interior, especially with their center out. So hopefully our defensive tackles can do some damage on that. All right, they run a 4-3. They got 88 overall. Sam Leach, 89-72 speed. NCAA first team. Wow, that kid's an All-American. 89 overall, just 72 speed. He must have just really done some damage. Look how big he is, though. 6'7", 268. He's about a 3-4 defensive end. Defensive tackles, not a whole lot here, but look at this. True freshman, 82 overall. That's impressive. That's hard to find true freshman 80 and above, between 80 and 84 to be exact. They got three true freshmen. Look at that, 82, 76, and 78. We'd love to have at least just one of these guys. Here's a true sophomore. So imagine what this group is going to look like here in about two years. Okay, 92, 91, 82. Look at this kid, this second team, all SEC, Ricky Hempel. Hempfield, I guess is how you say that. Big kid. Let's see. Corner, 96 overall. Avery Atkins, 94 speed. A little backups, 87, 84. 97 overall. Dorian Monroe, free safety. About probably one of the better free safeties we'll face all season. Redshirt senior. They have a weakness at strong safety. Jamarcus Greenway. We, if we can somehow take advantage of that, maybe run it on his side of the field a lot. Try to throw in his direction, although I don't trust Bradley to pick him apart anytime soon. Amazing kicker, 94 overall. True junior, a punter, 86 overall. Okay, moral of the story is they're very good. So let's test all that and see if we can pull out a victory. And they're ready to kick this we got three big-time prospects fizzing today. It would be in our best interest if we won. Kicks it off. Botang. Botang. Uh-oh. Get him. There we go. Okay, I fully expect a lot of passing, so we're going to do a lot of zone. And since their quarterback can't run much, we're going to blitz when we can. We're not going to be able to blitz quite a bit. They like to go four or five wide a lot. Oop, they went for the P.A. Reed out of the gate. Oh, wow, just ran right over me. Pick up 13 yards. All right, they got a hanging tight end, apparently. Let's see. Florida has just been dominant on offense. So far, yeah, maybe the best defensive or best offense we'll face this season. There you go. Got to him just in time, so it's now second and 15. Going five wide, we'll go back to quarters out of nickel. I don't have the bodies to run much dime, or I would. I just don't have an all good corner depth. I will maybe in a couple years if I can get a couple of these commitments. Oh, wide open. Well, big play there. And that is third and one. Let's go with a 4-4. And they're going to go line. It said they was going like too wide. So something happened there. Oh, 
Full back dive. Picks up the first. Picks up a lot of yards there. We'll go back to quarters. Man, this just feels like a big game. Oh, good play. Who do you defend? I had to defend this hitch right here. And I say there and look at this cross ramp coming over. It's just an awesome play by the quarterback. I can't defend both. That's a good way to attack my quarters, just to throw at me with a couple of routes. He just played some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first uh, let's hmm. I almost take quarters one more time. It's first and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. Cruz is back in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Oh, uh, dang it. Touchdown. Wow. Touchdown. That was quick. I was badly out of position. I tried to intercept it. I just wasn't in a good position there. And who got the touchdown? The All-American wide receiver. Okay. No different than the LSU game. They started off hot. Let's see if we can just match it with a touchdown of our own. This will be a good barometer for me in terms of, you know, I've talked about off and on over the season, maybe increasing my sliders a little bit. If Florida wears me out today, then that gives me hope that I don't have to touch anything. I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> I hope I win, of course. But. Big play by Thomas. We got it down to the 45 almost. Let's see. Let's go. Let's do a QB choice. We're going man. The right nickel is Blitzen. Who is on him? Okay, we'll just hand this off. Good block there. Good play here. Pick up a first down with Brown. Good block by the pulling tackle. Let's just run the same thing for but from trips over this time. We're going zone dime. I like the shift. Eh, good defense. Came right on through. He can go here. Let's go speed option. We're going man dime. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball in the 34. Shifting that way. I guess we're going to run for a right. Lines up with three receivers. Bradley on the option right. Fires back. Sheds that one. Ball with a takedown. Got most of our yards back. Now it is third and three. Let's do a halfback. Yeah, this is two down territory for me. I probably should have ran instead, but I think he can make this throw, hopefully. We're going to give this to our halfback. There we go. Just pick up a first. Now, we're on the 18. Let's go ahead and run some option with our wide receiver. We're going man 4-3. I hope they don't shift too hard in that direction, and they're not. Defense being is standing right there, but looks like we're going to get the points we need. Good deal. Thankfully, that defensive end's not very fast. He couldn't get Nicholas. They ran a spy. That's why he was standing there. I don't know if you... Sometimes you'll see defensive ends just kind of sit here. That means they're running a spy. He also didn't get blocked either, but that's why he just kind of stood there. Thankfully, he's not fast enough to get Nicholas. All right. That's a good answer to Florida's touchdown. Make that extra points. All right, tie ball game. Let's get back on defense. And I'm a, I'm pretty sure this quarterback's going to throw a ton today. And eventually I'm going to pick off one or two, hopefully. And that could be the big difference in the game. We'll see. They had no issue going down the field on us before. This wasn't a very good kick at all. It's a good stop, though. Two quarters from 
Now the weakness to our quarters is the middle of the field. Right, uh, it's the center, right in front of the center. They already exploited that once. That's a very good halfback. Well, that's two good runs for him out of the gate. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. The Gator. Uh, they're running a little bit more than I expected. Big play. Told you that was going to happen eventually. We may get six points out of this. Get a block out there. Ain't going to happen. You're going to throw in my direction. You're going to mess up. Here you see me on the very top. Guy makes a little hitch, and I just get in front of it. I just sit there and wait on it. Keep throwing in my direction. This is what yard are we on? We are on the like 13, 12. Let's just run triple. We got no need to pass it. We're too close to the goal line anyways. We're going zone. And just stood right there. Sometimes he gets blocked, sometimes he doesn't. I probably should have kept it and went right up the middle. I need to start doing that. That may need to be my zone read or my zone option. Whenever it's zone, it's probably my best option just to keep it with the quarterback and just find a crease up the middle. Now, of course, this defensive end... Came around or linebacker came through anyways. Probably won't get much out of it, but what do you do? Good defense. All right, second and fifteen. And since we're in the red zone, let's we're going zone number. nickel. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters, he's knocked out of bounds. Gets some yards, not a whole lot. Now it is third and ten. I'm in field goal territory, even for my average kicker. Let's just do a halfback corner. We're going man. I don't want to throw an interception. I didn't get the first, though. I don't think they're going to give it to me. It's fourth and three. Yeah, let's just play it smart and kick a field goal. I thought he got the first when he caught it. I guess not. And I may have missed that. Nope, I'm going to get I swear. <laughs> Kicking, it just takes practice, and I don't practice enough. All right, we don't ring the cowbell for field goals, only for touchdowns, but it's good that we are up three points. At least got some points out of that drive. Right down the middle to their impact guy, Boateng. My kicker just got destroyed. And he's gone. Dang it. Well, well, geez. Well, LSU done the same thing to us last time. Perfect blocking all the way, though. I don't know. I mean, what do you do about it? Right up the middle. I can never get good blocking like that up the middle for 06. Now, I, this gives me hope that it's actually possible to do that one day. But, of course, I don't know what you do about it. But either way. I need to try going up the middle a little bit more. Just testing it and see. Now, this is great blocking all around. And this guy's got really good speed. <sighs> okay. We got to go back to our strategy from last game. I just forget. I got to kick it to the other guy. I always forget to do that. So, if Florida kicks it up the middle, we're going to try to go up the middle and just see what happens. I doubt we'll get any good block, and I've never been able to get it. But Florida showed up. At least you can there. Perfect defense there. Let's go ahead and surprise them a little bit. Let's do a pass play. Let's go slot cross. We're going man down. This will either go to guard high or Nicholas. The and that's a flag. Dang it, dang it, dang it. No, I forgot. Uh, got him for grounding. So that's what, second and forever. I was fixing to get sacked. That is a safety? Oh, my gosh. I wasn't. How is that a safety? I threw it. Oh, my gosh. I threw it. <laughs> Don't ever do that. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, what a mess. No, oh, I just wasn't 
That was just bad on my part. So bad. Now look at this. Uh oh. The 50 makes a move. Gosh. What a disastrous last few minutes. Just playing terrible. We got to make up for that somehow. Oh. Incomplete. Incomplete. I don't know too many seven foot we'll go guys quarters from four three. You should aim lower the next time. Crew comes to the line with three wide. Steps up. Look. Throws to the back. Uh, I should have known that's halfback circle. Nice decision by the quarterback. Well, well, well. But the offensive line protects going quarters long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll well, this gives me hope, though, that a team of this caliber is doing what they're supposed to do. That means I feel like I don't have to. He's going left. <laughs> I feel like I may not have to increase sliders. As a quarterback, I can tell you that those are the only types of drops. Like the Texas A&M game. Ball on the have you know? There's games like that that tell me I don't need to touch touch it, but touch anything. Oh my gosh! What do you do about that? What do you do about that? Nothing you can't do. All right, let's go back to zone blitz. But yeah, the Texas A&M game gives me hope that I don't have to make any adjustments. But now I said they was going three wide. Now they're going two tight ends. I don't understand that. Ooh, pick that off next time. Dangerous, dangerous throw there. Give credit to the four defense. wide. They did a good job out there. This I'm gonna do an all-out. This may be really dumb, but I have it on my mind to do it. Long. Crew lines up in the shotgun. Set to go to the air. Throws to the touchdown. Well, well, that was a mistake. So they got 22 points in the first quarter. 23 for the next point. Everything was going great until I had the safety. Actually, it was that kickoff return. And he tacks on the extra point. And now let's take wow. a drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Got some catching up to do. We've done it before. We could do it again. Florida lines up for right now, our passing defense is getting slaughtered. He boots it deep down field. That, I'm actually happy about that in, in some aspects. Fields it in the end zone. Most of the time, opposing passing attacks struggle against me. Not this team. All right, they're going man nickel. We're gonna go basic speed option. Bradley has four receivers lined up here. Bradley, high option, and now he pitches it. Got some open field. I didn't get the first. I don't think. Tailback gets ten yards after taking the pitch on the option. All right. Okay, let's do QB choice. Let's just pick up the first. We're going four three. Dang it. Mississippi State ten. They're shifting that way. Mississippi State comes out in the shotgun. We're going to do that. I don't know. Bradley, back to pass. Looking. None of that looked halfway decent, so let's just pick up a first down ourselves. I didn't feel right with any of that. All right, let's do some more QB choice. Let's do it at a bunch. They're going zone dime. I would love to just hand this off. We're not going to now. Just that defense. That, they were all over me. Good penetration by this defensive unit. Into Zone 4-3. The Bulldogs line up with three wide. Bradley brought that other guy over. Didn't really need to. Not a whole lot there. Ooh, so it's what a third and eight. Not the position we wanted to be in. We're going man. He's coming down. Bradley with three wide receivers. I want Nicholas go over the top just in case. Let's go, Nicholas. Big play. Big play! Six points! Ah! Awesome, awesome adjustment. I had him go on the streak. 
Thankfully, they went cover zero. And we got the touchdown. So let's get an extra point. Go down six and figure out what to do on defense. I'm still not overly worried about the defense. I think he's going to keep throwing in my direction, and I'm going to get another interception or two. And he hits the PAT. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Everyone's all lined up and ready okay. for the And I completely whiff this. This is going to go out of bounds, maybe. No, this is actually a good, pit, good kick. I completely forgot to... Almost kicked it to the other guy. <laughs> just, I, sometimes you just forget things. All right, he's picking apart my quarters, but again, I'm not too worried yet. Ah, oh, good play. Good deal. Good shift. Second to 15. We'll just stick with quarters again. If we could just survive this play, get into a third and long. Oh, you got to be kidding. He still got that. I swear. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at That's just my bad. I'm just in bad position. Back in the gun. He had all day to throw too, so he had great protection. He dropped back. Like he tried to force that. Oh, we got to pick those off. All right, we finally got to hang a tight end. I prefer to blitz on those. Because he almost threw a pick. They shift on the defensive line. Sack, good deal. One of us was going to get to him. Finally, we can go to cover six. Got to get a stop here. Didn't get it. Wow, a long game, but still not enough. Are they going to go for it? They're going to go for it. Ah, oh, we'll go cover one. So the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. Florida lines up for the shotgun set. They'll throw for it. He steps up, looking across the middle. What do you do? Ah. Oh. Fourth and one, and they go deep. I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. Right, we're going to just take a chance. They got a really good quarterback. Ah, dang it. Dang it. I was right there, too. Went right around me. Wow. What, a what an offense. Just whatever they want to do, they're doing it. So what we need to do is start thinking about controlling the clock a little bit and still scoring touchdowns. We get the ball started the second half. And he tacks on the extra point. This I'm afraid to go man against this team. I think they would just annihilate it. it looks like we also need another interception or two. We've dropped a couple already. Kicks it deep. That's a kick and a half. I'm going to go out with it, though. It's not a whole lot there. Let's do a double running back option. They're going man 5-2. Don't sprint out. We're doing that. That's doable. Bradley comes to the line with three wide. Bradley options out to the right. He brings three. Good play, pick up the first. Let's go back and run some triple. Now they're going man dime. Like, I would love to just hand this off. Let's run some clock. I have no reason to hurry up and do anything. Now, it's... It, it's so quick, the read is, to try to read that defensive end, but sometimes, see, that's a perfect block on that dude that right there. So, sometimes he gets blocked, sometimes he doesn't. It's never consistent. That's why I never recommend just to read him. It's too quick anyways. It's too quick for me. Let's go back to slot cross. 
They're going man. Last time I got a safety because I wasn't paying attention. Looks like that strong safety who's pretty weak is on our best receiver. I want to go to Nicholas, but if that safety comes up, the impact-free safety, then I got no choice but to go over the top. But they're going cover one. Linebacker was on him. He was on the other receiver. Okay. Let's go speed option. Zone nickel. Bradley is back in the gun. Bradley options out. The laterals the ball. Ah, just a bad play right there. Only got a yard. One yard gain on the play. Let's do a direct with Brown. Second and nine. Zone nickel. And the clock stopped too. That was just that was just a bad play right around. Has four receivers lined up here. No, let's go back. I want to do this. I want to do the other guy. Go we'll bring him over. They snap it to the back. Let's pick up the first down, and we got out of bounds. All right, minute and 38. Let's stay here, and let's do QB choice. They're going man dime, and they're spreading out. They're doing all that stuff. I may just... They're doing that. And they're going man. What I may do is... Ah, snap. Not what we wanted. Here he goes. He's knocked out of bounds. Stayed in bounds. Second and two. Tereshinsky's fresh. Let's do direct with him. We're going zone four three. Oh, okay. We're gonna let the clock roll. Need to get a touchdown and use up as much clock as possible and survive the rest of the quarter. Let's get the first. We're on the five. We're going to go with our QB option give. It's been our best goal line play. We're going zone. We'll continue to run more clock. I'm pretty sure they're going zone. Yeah, they're going zone. Hope that didn't hurt anything. If this doesn't work, we'll go with, like, speed option, maybe. I didn't get in, but that's a good play. We're on the one. Let's do speed option. We're going zone. Did that mess anything up? Can't really tell. Let's get in the end zone for six points. Okay, 14 seconds left. We have to survive the next 14 seconds, so we're going to definitely kick to the other guy. I, I prefer to high kick it if possible, but that gives them time to get down the field as well. I almost want to just kick it out of bounds, but... So we're going to kick it to the left if we can. And this is going right down the middle. Dang it. Look who's going to get it. Nope, that guy. Now, how did that end up being a very far kick? He normally can't kick it that far. All right. 11 seconds. Surely they can't do anything crazy here. I'm going to do basic quarters. Just keep everything in front of me just in case. I'm assuming they're going to run the ball. They're going gun normal. So they may be going off tackle here. Yep, they're going off tackle. I have a hard time with that play. I usually can't get the blocking that I like with it. I kind of got at, uh, that out of my playbook. Okay, somehow, some way, we're only down six points. That's just a crazy half. This is going to be like Texas A&M game. All right, let's look at some stats. Both teams offensively are doing their thing. Their passing attack is legit, and they haven't had to throw it all that much, only 14 times, but their quarterback is really good. Let's see. We've been able to get a few sacks. If we could get another interception or two, that would be great. 
I don't need to look at the individual stuff. I don't really care at this point. So let's just go ahead to the third quarter. All right, we got to take advantage here. Get a touchdown. Go up a point. Right down the middle. Now, I'm, no, we're too far back. I'm just going to take a knee here. We'll go deep cross up. We're going zone. First time we've got to call this today. What a catch. What a throw that was. You go back and look at this. Stupid joystick. Okay. Look how close I was to the sideline before I had to catch. Now, I was feeling the heat. I had to keep running. Normally, I stop and plant my feet before I make this throw. So, I'm throwing on the run, and he still makes the catch. That's you a tough throw right there. About this guy's play all season long. What a steady performer. He's let's go back here. Uh, no, let's uh, get Thomas back going. Let's do QB choice. Well Zone dime. I really want to just hand this off. Don't shift defense Bradley. line. That's great defense. No gain on that option play. They'll actually lose some yardage. And I called the wrong play. We're going man though, so I'm gonna do this. We're gonna go. Bradley lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. Looking. Throws this one out to the left. Oh, big play. He has some room. And they push him out. They stuck with man, so I just went to my out route to Nicholas. That's what you get for calling the wrong play. You have to switch things up a little bit. Let's go. Let's do QB choice from here. We're going man nickel. I'm okay with that. And they're doing that. So somebody's blitzing. That linebacker probably. Somebody picked him up. Ah, oh, not a good enough block. Free safety came around. Still got eight yards. Let's do QB choice from Vine Strips. Second and two coming up. We're going five two. Bradley with three wide receivers. Let's, um, let's bring him over. Nope. Perfect defense. Uh, let's do speed option. We're going man dime. This is good. If we could just get good blocking, that would help. No high snap either. Let's just get out of bounds. Get the first down, be done with it. Now, let's stay here and run an RPR. RPO, you, just, you can kind of do whatever you want to with this play. We're going zone. We're going nickel. I have to get this one off. Big play by Brown. I was feeling the heat. They went nickel. They got six guys in the box, so I normally just want to throw in this situation. But I saw the corner coming to blitz, so I had to get it off quickly. The halfback's my safety valve. I make a juke, and I'm off to the races. Good hit by the safety, though. Man. Okay, now we are on the two-yard line. He is a kind of gassed. I'm not going to risk that. So let's go Tereshinsky. They're shifting. As long as the defensive end. Touchdown. Just enough. Good deal. All right. That's a good answer. Our goal was met. We executed great on the last two drives. Done exactly what we needed to do. Let's get this extra point and take the lead. Okay, back to defense we go. Here's where we've been struggling today. Their offense has been just terrific. But if we could somehow force him to throw interceptions. Other than that, they're going to score their points, I'm afraid, because we just can't stop them otherwise. This is by far the best passing attack I've went up against. Uh, the A&M passing game is pretty good. This one seems a little bit better. When this quarterback has time, he's very accurate. 
One guy who's not complaining is that quarterback. That's for sure. We thought this right end would have a couple sacks and a half dozen hurries by now. He's their impact oh. player, but he's Ooh, good defense. Got a hand on it. One on one situation. Wow, Eric Bradley, seven for seven. Just now noticed that. All right, we got to take advantage of this. We got to go zone blitz. Let's go after this cat. This defense better be careful. The quarterback is in the zone and really feeling it out there. Don't run off tackle. Oh, great protection. Good defense, though. Now, what happened? Holding. I hope it's a holding. You got to be kidding. Who was that on? On Sanders. Let me go back and look at that. Sanders is on the right. No, he is not. He's on the left. Uh, oh, you, that is a penalty. He touches him. Uh, that's a terrible call. That is terrible. Terrible call. You know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. It's first and ten. Ball on their own thirty-five. Don't touch the quarterback. They'll throw a flag on you. Don't breathe on him. Take a play, somebody. Mm. That's why all these defensive defensive players play on defense because they can't catch. Otherwise, they'd be playing on offense. All right, back to zone blitzing. Now's not the time for a blown coverage. This quarterback is in the zone. Back to pass. There we go. Just in time. So it's now third and 15. We'll go back to cover three cloud. He torched us the last time we called this on third down. Sack! Ah. Come at me, bro. Punt the ball. Doing some damage on that right tackle. Okay, we got the ball back. We really need to do something with this. Get some points. Get a block on the right, somebody. Nope, ain't gonna happen. Just don't fumble. Good defense. All right, right hash. Let's call. Let's go here. Let's go triple option from two-back slot. The only reason I don't call this a whole lot because they always go 4-3 on it, and he's doing that. That means that right linebacker is blitzing, or the technical of the left outside linebacker. Oh, we got good blocking. Good play by Jenkins. Let's go here, and let's run this triple option. Triple QB option. This is more of a veer type read. They're going man. Basically, if I keep it with the quarterback, I'm kind of going up the field. But the Bulldogs come out in the shotgun. They go with the option. And I'm just going to keep that. That's just good defense. We can go back and look at this. I wasn't going to hand it off to Jenkins. It would have got destroyed right there. So I had no choice. But for whatever reason, this play is designed for the quarterback to go up the gut really quick. Now, I could have bounced it right back outside, but they've got that pitch read locked down. So that's just amazing defense. Technically perfect defense on that play. Now, what am I doing? I didn't mean to do that. We're going to call a timeout. I just accidentally hit the hurry up button. Well, I didn't want to do that. Let's go deep cross up. Waste of a timeout. They're going zone, but they're shifting hard that way. Good protection, though. Good throw. Right where it needs to be. We're on the 13. No, we're on the 18. Make yes, the 19 yard line. So we need to go. I'm trying to think. What we have we? Let's throw them off a little bit and run to the short side. And they're blitzing both inside guys. And they're still bringing both guys. 
All right. Oh, crap. Dang it, that's my bad. I'm not paying attention. That's my bad. Well, that was a messed up play all around. I'm just not paying attention. All right, we're going man nickel. Who's on who? Good protection. Big play. Oh, my gosh. What a play. Go back and look at this. Jeez, I wasn't, I've never seen this done before. Okay, that's a juke, that's normal. Look at this right here. It's just, the way it looked was so weird looking. What a stud. What an All-American, true freshman. Gosh, goofy looking play. Now he's gassed. So what we need to do is, ooh, let's do QB choice, give Jenkins a chance. I think they're going man. Let's flip it. State comes out in the shotgun. And they didn't flip their formation. That's good. I've done that just to get away from that one. Free safety. And... Wow, good play. Good defense. Just about three yards there. I should have dove. Sometimes when you dive and they tackle at the same time, they'll punish you for it. Do QB option give. We're going zone. We're just going to hand this off. Hope for the best. Good play. Good deal. Another touchdown for you know who. What a game. Craziness. Okay. Let's kick an extra point. Let's go up eight. So far, the last quarter and a half has went our way. Let's do the same in the fourth quarter. It's going to be wild. Wild ending. Hopefully, we can blow them out. Wouldn't hurt my feelings if we did. And look who I'm kicking it to. Dang it, I forgot. That's just my bad. Good stop, though. All right. We're going to go back to quarters. We're going to make this quarterback throw underneath <clears throat> over and over again until he throws an interception. Ah, hey, good play. Pick up about eight, nine. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback. That's an interesting play, by the way. Let's go back and look at this. If they're going after me. There's two guys I have to defend. I have to go after the low one. That guy came wide open. That's a good little play right there. It's out of gun five wide. We're going quarters. No, we're doing that. Got to him in time, so it's third and one. We'll just go 4-4. Four, four. Cover one. Just enough for the first down. Short gain there by the halfback for the first down. Go back to quarters. It's Had a nickel ten. this time since they're going four wide. Crew is in the zone and looking to make a play. I'm fixing to pick him off. I'm calling it right here. Oh, way ahead of it. Get about seven yards out of that. Only five. I have to stay in quarters. Second down and five. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Oh, good defense. Was able to get a hand on it. Third and five. Mm. We'll go ahead and do cloud. I can see him doing a lot of different things here. I'm going to go to the outside of this tackle. Oh, so close. Wow, what a play by the receiver. That's just a good catch. Good defense, but the guy got to it before the other guys did. Well, what do you do? All right, fourth quarter. Get your fingers up. Fourth quarter. 
Mississippi State, 38. And I called the wrong play. Ah, jeez. Let's go back to my audibles. I wish, what are they? Core, it's an L1. That's my nickel quarters. The defensive back moving in closer. Oh, he still catches that. There he goes. Wow, what a stud receiver. Golly, he's good. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, just good catch. Went around him. Kid's tough. I'm going to go with a... Just, it didn't work last time, but let's do another one. Let's do another zone blitz. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. Good play there. The blitz from the nickel came through. Well, that's possible because of the penetration the defense was able to get. It's tough to get any. Where we go quarters. We gotta get a stop here. Going back to bunch. Pump up what little of the crowd is there. Wow, what a catch. That Nelson kid's been all over the field. Third and six. All right, we're going to go cloud. Oh, good pick up. Yeah! Ah, sack! He couldn't find anybody. Normally, it takes a quarterback a little bit more time to find a guy open against zone than man. Kick a field goal. Awesome stomp. Now what we can do is slow the game down and run clock. I, I don't mind doing that. There's still a ton of time left. So I'm not too worried about the clock, but it's a possibility. What a game, though. Right down the middle of the field. I'm going to just let that do its thing. I want deep cross-up as an option. They haven't been able to stop it yet. Going back to zone. Not feeling a whole lot of heat. Bad throw. Oh, just enough. Big play. One of the best throw. Somehow Nicholas got it in stride. We got two number 80 receivers that are just putting on a show tonight. Both of them are killing it. What a play. All right, let's do some QB choice. We're going zone dime. I'm gonna... go. I like the protection. Big play right there by Thomas. So let's do the same thing with Tereshinsky. I really need to put Brown here and Tereshinsky on the other one. Because I like the opposite side tight end blocking. And no protection. Oh, that was a terrible play. Everybody got pushed back. And he couldn't get anywhere. Brad, I love how that defense attacked this run. Disaster play. So let's let's do an RPO. It's We're going man nickel. Long ways to go. Ball the 29. He's coming down. That other se the safety gun. comes down. I'm going to Stewart. Please come down. Normally, when the free safety comes down, that means we're going cover zero. Sometimes it can be cover one. We'll see what happens. All right, both of them are coming down. Let's go, Stewart, make a play! Ah, six points! Okay, let's kick an extra point. It was a weird catch, too. Look at this. Ah. All right, let's go up 11. 12, technically. Now, there's still a ton of time left, so this game is nowhere near over.
All right, back to defense we go. A kicker gets destroyed. Get a stop, somebody. All right, they got a long way to go to get a touchdown. So let's make them go down the field. 18 plays in. Or we can just pick it off and be done with it. <laughs> the linebacker managed to break that one up. It's second down and ten to go. Back to quarters this time out of four three. Three wide outs here. Drop back to pass. He steps up. Down the middle. That's interference. Ooh, they didn't call it. I feel like I rubbed into him a little bit, but maybe not. When he misses, it's usually All right, third and long. He's been working very hard with his coach. We'll go play out. Third and ten. Ball on the 22. And the secondary better be careful. This receiver wants to make a play. Oh, get to him. He's got all day to throw. Big play right here. Ah. Both strong safeties are playing terrible today. Just completely whiffed on it. That's my weakness on the team. It's my strong safety. Theirs is as well. And I pressed the wrong. Oh, this should have been intercepted. Good defense, though. This defense is very aggressive. And they swore Let's go back to quarters. Right. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. Nickel defense. Back to back. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. He'll dump this Good ball. open field tackle. He's taken down. Three yards there on the play. We'll go back to Clay on third and seven. The offense faces another third down. This game's going to get really interesting if they score, though. Fourth down. We're going to call the same play. Might as well. I trust it more than anything else. All right. This is more or less the ball game. Oh, good step in and he drops it. Ah, minute 38. We're going to run some clock, run the ball. We're going zone dime. Ooh, that ain't going to help, is it? That's just... That was an interesting call there. I flipped the play, and they shifted the other way. I, I knew they would do that, so that was my fault for doing this. But I knew I, I wasn't going to get a whole lot on the right side, so I just curled back over to the left. Ended up getting some good guards out of it. Got the first down, maybe? Florida takes a timeout. Well, let's just go here. Right. Another QB choice. We're going man dime. Ball on the 47. Love the shift. Bradley has four receivers lined up here. They're on the option. Here's an opening. Oh, first down, it's game. Now. Well, they got one more timeout, but that's that, well, they're, we're up two scores. I'm quite confident this is game over. But I'm not going to take a knee just yet. They're going man 4 3. They'll probably shift hard in that direction. Nope, not too bad. Let's bring the tight end over instead. Stay in bounds. Another first down. Now they still got one more timeout left. We're going to run the clock. And that should do it. They'll burn that one timeout. After this play. Here's the option left. And now he's got room to run. 
big play. First down. Game over. 55 seconds. Overrated. 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 All right. Victory formation. Now, stay to the end of the video. We have to look at our potential commitments from the three guys who visited today. So we're going to do that shortly after this. We're going to simulate the rest of the week. What a great game. That was a lot of fun. Our defense hung out in the end. What done it for us was our defensive line. We got the sacks we needed to make it harder on that passing attack. We still may see them in the SEC title game. Them or Georgia. That's still a long ways off, though. We still got to get there ourselves. They come out of the nickel. All right, this game was pretty close. Now, they have still had a whole lot more talent than we did, but that was a lot of fun one way or the other. All right, we can check out some stats. Biggest win of the program, at least in my tenure. Uh, well, I guess winning the SEC championship game is considered bigger, so this may be number two. That's still a big deal being a team like that. They were very talented. If they were able to run the ball, if they ran the ball more, they probably could have beat me, I think. Now, their defense is terrible. You saw the stats before the game. They've had a bad defense all year, and we took advantage of that today. But their offense was pretty good. Now, their offense only had 300 yards. We ran a lot of clock in the second half and towards the actual second quarter as well. Let's see. I thought Bradley, I don't know if he had one drop ball all day. The sacks is what done it. We was only able to get one turnover, but it was still a big one. We was able to get three points out of it, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go to individual stats. 10 for 10. Eric Bradley had arguably his best game ever. 10 for 10, two touchdowns, no picks. Just an amazing day for him. We can look at our rushing yards. Wesley Brown, 132 yards, one touchdown. He had by far most attempts. Him and Bradley had 10. Let's see. A good little rushing attack all around. Receiving, it was the Nicholas Show. Had 205 yards, one touchdown. Stewart had the big go routes in the third quarter, if I'm not mistaken, on the RPO. Cool stuff there. Uh, I want to look at... Florida, 16 of 31, two touchdowns. He had the one pick. Rushing, this is what they could have done better. They could have ran the ball a little bit more. But I told you, when you got impact players at quarterback and receiver, you're going to go up against teams that just want to throw the entire time. When they did ran, they ran well. Look at these averages, seven yards, eight yards. They should have ran more. Receiving, though. Uh, Botang, it was Nelson. This was the kid who ended up really getting him down the field. Botang had two touchdowns. Really good receiving core, but it just wasn't enough because, again, their defense just couldn't handle our attack. Okay, let's simulate the rest of the week and see if we get any commitments. Would love to get – I think all three of these guys are in-state players. I do not want to lose – gosh, we do not need to lose Louisiana as a pipeline or Alabama because they're close to us. But if you notice, a couple of the players that we're going after that were struggling to – gain traction or out-of-state kids, we cannot lose the Louisiana pipeline. So we got to emphasize that in the offseason. Keep getting as many of those kids as possible. But again, the three guys that have visited today are all Mississippi kids, if I'm not mistaken. I know Brad Howard is, the big defensive end is, and I'm thinking the corner is a Mississippi kid as well. We're, we're about to find out. I forget. I just, there's so many kids to keep track of. It's hard to remember them all, who they are, where they're from. All three committed. 
James Small, he's not very small, 6'5", 255, a rare natural defensive end that I'm willing to go after just because of his speed, his size. That's excellent. Every bit of that's really good. Now, his strength is nowhere near as good as any middle linebacker you'll come across, but I'm okay with that. I like He's going to do fine for us for several years. This is the linchpin of our recruiting class, Brad Howard. Lefty. I forgot that he's a lefty. That's awesome. I'm a lefty, too. I love playing with lefties. Waynesboro, Mississippi. Super excited about this kid. 4'6", 5". He is going to be the backbone of our offense for years to come, hopefully. And, yes, Mark Williams, Madison, Mississippi. Love to get this kid. We finally added some depth to our cornerback group. He's tall. He's fast. Exactly what I need at cornerback. Now, let's go to recruiting. And there it is, the class of the SEC, Mississippi State. Triumphs over number four, Florida. That may have put us up number one. It better. Let's go to end season recruiting. Let's update this while we're here. We're down to three guys. That one corner we was going after, I'm sure, I think it was Hampton, took us off his list. That's normal. Now, you see, this kid is already ready to visit. Okay, let's go with 34, 33, and 33. That should be enough for all these kids. We'll put it on this kid. We'll give him the 34 points. It looks like Florida, we are down on every single one of these. But we moved up for this kid, which is good. We're going to have him visit the Alabama game. These other two guys are not ready to visit. Would love to have this kid, though. Imagine Clint Thomas and Mark Williams being my two starting cornerbacks of the future. That'd be pretty cool. I don't mind the way all that's set up, though. 34, that's more than enough points. I can move these guys down and do 40 for this kid because I really love to have them, but... I think 34 is going to be more than enough to be competitive. Only thing that worries me is Florida is right up there. And our visit, his visit, is not for two more weeks. And so we don't know when he's going to get the Florida schedule, visit schedule. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, huge win. Come on back. We will take on Kentucky. And we're still number two in the country. Even beating Florida couldn't get us over the top on number one. But Kentucky's having a good season. They're 5-3. We'll see what happens there. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.